the, the best place to be is the place where you can achieve your goals. Now for me, a religious person, that kind of place is a place where I could observe the most commandments and where I could be the best follower of the Almighty that I could be. Now, I don't think you could really follow the commandments if you're if you're not near nature, so many of them have to do with nature. Now, I've been thinking lately, uh, if I could live anywhere in the world, where would it be? And I can't help remembering a little place right there. It's not Jerusalem. It's nearby. It's right next to Tel Aviv, and it's called Yafo. Some people change the sound of it and they call it Joppa. It's a place where Jonah, Jonah left when he was trying to escape his mission. I was there in 2003. It's one of the oldest seaports in the world, if not the oldest. It's like a little village. It's very historic. Actually, um, Napoleon and his men tried to take it over a long time ago and they were chased out by the bubonic plague. Everyone was so ill, so many of his men died, so the few survivors left there in a hurry. When I was there I visited, you know, the little cafes and there's a place that's slightly underground, like maybe five foot beneath the surface where they've excavated old homes hewn out of the stone. Um, it was beautiful. And of course, since it's next to Tel Aviv and it's, it's right on the Mediterranean Sea, there's beaches there, there's, there's stores. Um, most of the restaurants there are kosher, meaning um, some of the restaurants are dairy restaurants, and some of the restaurants are meat restaurants. Um, Ashkenazi Jews, meaning European Jews, they don't like to mix meat and milk because of a, a particular scripture. But Sephardic Jews, which are Jews from, let's say, uh, Italy and Spain, Turkey, uh, they don't uh, follow that cultural requirement. So I was there with a relative in this little cafe where they had these outdoor seats and I ordered something something like uh, spaghetti with uh, tomato sauce and um, it was a meat restaurant which I didn't notice and I, I asked the uh, proprietor for some grated cheese and he just looked at me and he did this and he pointed towards a sign he had there that said it's a meat restaurant so I couldn't get any dairy now I don't know why he didn't just have a non-dairy cheese there anyway it's a very nice place to walk uh, this little village I don't know how it is now but it was nice back then in 2003 so back to where we should live. Um, I would say that most people now might be seriously thinking of getting out of the cities because there's, there's more problems there with, uh, with sewer systems, with the air quality, and especially with the pandemic we're having. So I think rural areas, suburbs, might start filling up soon. Anyway, uh, we know that uh, living in nature, fresh air, sunshine is good for us. It's even dangerous in the city to take a walk. I mean, you know, there's so many accidents that try to cross the street, or even there's cars, trucks coming up on the sidewalk and some of these wild accidents I see on the news. So I want to be my best. I want to follow as many commandments as possible and uh, 
since I'm a person that, you know, is basically quiet and uh, cerebral, I need to live in a peaceful place. And I want to look out the window and see trees, not bars on the window. And I don't want to hear horns honking and people screaming. I want to continue to hear birds singing. So I'm determined to try and make this place have as m many things as possible that I'm dreaming of about other places like South Florida. So that's about it. And happy Sabbath. And be happy. The joy of the Lord is your strength.